Okay, now, uh, Dennis Walter was one of the first people out of the newsroom when we got word of the crash. He is at the site in Kenner. We have a live report. Dennis? Garland, we're at the scene where we have numerous uh, community officials and uh, rescue units on the scene. And Larry Wynn, a man in the neighborhood who saw this plane when it came down, it's resting about two blocks down from here. Larry was in his yard, which is about two houses over. Larry, tell us what you saw. I heard this loud noise, like a, a plane taking off. And it was extra loud, like right around the corner. Me and I sitting on the porch, we looked over here, and a plane hit a tree and kind of bounced up and then went down on the house on the next street over. And uh, it made a big explosion a big, and a lot of fire. Can you describe, did you see people when this happened? Did you see? No, 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 sir, I never seen no people. But I, I seen the whole plane hit the house. Okay, Larry, thank you very much. And with us also is Donna Vignair, who is uh, an x-ray technician and who has been back here with uh, other medical staffers uh, trying to help out. What have you seen back there? Uh, from what I have seen, this is the worst thing I have ever seen. There seem to be no survivors of any kind aboard the plane. There were a number of burn victims, uh, people and residents that were immediately transported to hospitals. We've set up a burn center here. Any medical staff that, that has the experience in treating burns, we'd ask them to come uh, using my authority to come to this site as clearance at the corner of 17th and Fairway to help us with, with potential fire victims. No survivors to this plane crash, and as soon as the FAA has come in and surveyed the area, we'll be transporting the, the, the bodies uh, of the victims directly to a hangar that Delta Airlines has made available. I, I want to commend at this time the fire department and the chief of police, Sal and Tenney, uh, Harry Lee, Sheriff of Jefferson Parish, and the civil defense for coming in and responding so quickly and so efficiently to this particular catastrophe because we have people that were scattered around looking for relatives we've had people that, that were fleeing from their homes it, it was an absolute catastrophe uh, I, I was personally participating in fighting the fire that, that of the last major plane crash in this city when it hit the Hilton Inn this is far greater in, in, in its uh, catastrophic proportions